Hi friends, welcome to the class of design and analysis of algorithms. In the previous class we have seen depth first search. Now we are going to the another graph traversal method that is breadth first search. We will see how this graph traversal method will traverse. So if I take this example, the first thing, this is a graph and we will see how this graph traversal method works. First, it will select one node. Let us take the node one. It connects initially all the adjacents, all the adjacents for the node. Of course, the same thing repeats from the next also. So now if I take the initial node as one, so adjacents are two comma six, two vertices are there, two comma six. Now I need to connect two as well as six. Now in the order only you need to select first you have taken two. No, you select two here. What are the adjacents of two you need to connect now? Of course, the adjacents are 1, 7 and 3. Anyway, 1 is connected. 7 and 3 are there. I'll connect 7 and 3 also. 7 and 3, I have to connect. So, 7 I connected. 3 I connected. Now, I need to consider 6 now. The next element which you have taken. For that 6, you connect all the adjacents. See, here also care must be taken that there should not be any cycle whenever you connect. So, 6, if I take adjacents are 1 already connected, 1, 5 are there, 1 connected, 5 I will connect now. Now, after 2 and 6, now the next will come is 7. 1 is already there now, 7 will come. So, what are the adjacents of 7? 2, 5 and 4. So I'll select 2, 5 and 4. So 2 anyway connected, 5 and 4 I need to connect actually. If I connect 5, yes. If I connect 5, cycle will happen. If I connect 4, not a problem. I'll connect 4. Now 7 is over. Next element is 3 if I take. So what are the adjacents of 3? 2, 4. So 2 if I already connected, 4 anyway if I connect it will become cycle. So if you consider like this all the vertices are explored now. So you can stop here. So this is simple example like this you can consider or else you can go for next element next element. Anywhere if you, if you take you will get the cycle. So all the vertices are connected. This is a procedure going for the breadth first stretch. Now if you see with the algorithm how it will traverse this is most important we'll see this one now initially algorithm bfs of v here i'll select bfs of v v means one i'll select so it's a breadth first search and beginning visited of if for any node visited of i equals one means it is already been visited the same thing in the previous lecture i have explained what is visited means visited values are initially zeros all are zeros. I have totally seven vertices. All are zeros. I am taking here. So now, initial I am selecting. Yeah, here you can see u equals to v. What is u means? It is a q q concept. We know that q is a data structure where the first which is visited will come out first. So u equals to v the vertex. Now I am making a q here. I am writing here u i am taking v v means one here initially which is the unexplored vertices initially which are not yet been visited so visited of v equals to one now visited of v i am that is one i am making as one that means we are visiting v that is vertex one i am taking so repeat the process what you need to repeat is for all vertices w which are adjacent from u now my u value is one now u value is one now what are the adjacents of 1 I need to write. Those are 2 and 6 are there. Now you need to check for what is that visited of 2 is 0 now. Visited of 6 is also 0. Then add w to q. So my w is 2 and 6. Now I am adding those 2 into my q. That is the meaning of this add w to q. And make visited of w is equals 1. My w is 2 and 6. So both I am making 1. Now going to the again for the next one what is it again checking out for all the vertices this repeat is over next 
if q is empty then return so if you take the q q is not empty now what you need to select is delete the next element u from q why we need to uh, element means u i am deleting because it is a explode vertices now q should consisting only unexplored vertices so delete the next element u from q until false that means until false means the total q should be empty so like that you need to consider now the first element in q is 2 only not 1 because q is explored now all the adjacents are visited now my first element in q is 2 now now go what is u equals to v v means 2 so u is 2 now now going to this repeat w for all vertices w adjacent from u what are the adjacents of 2 1 7 and 3 so you select what you need to select only instead of w is 0 that means 7 and 3 only you need to select why because instead of 1 is already 1 so add w to q what are what is w 7 and 3 so i should add 7 comma 3 here and i need to make instead of 7 and 3 should be 1 like this now again if q is empty no that condition is not satisfied and delete the next element u from q so my element 2 is all explode now now unexplored at 6 7 and 3 now what is u value now u value is 6 because it is first in the q instead of what is it 6 is 1 already it is made now no need to consider 6 i think instead of now u value is 6 so instead of 6 is 1 you need to make anyway it is 1 and repeat for all the vertices w adjacent from u what is the adjacent of 6 1 comma 5 you need to select only which are unexplored and instead of i uh, i value is non zero so that is w is 5 only here that means i am adding 5 to the q and instead of 5 is also 1 i am making now again q is not empty delete the next element that is 6 is deleted and now u value is 7 that means v is also 7 instead of 7 is 1 and for all vertices w adjacent from u that means 7 adjacents of 7 2 5 4 in that i am selecting only 5 4 i am selecting only 4 because 2 and 5 that visited is 1 now instead of 4 is also 1 so i need to add in the q now q is not empty again checking for the next element 3 so like this if you go instead of 3 is 1 and adjacent of 3 2 comma 4 but 2 instead of 2 instead of 4 both are 1 so no need to change no need to add anything now 3 over next to 5 if i take for 5 instead of i is 1 only for all the vertices w adjacent means for 5 you need to take adjacents if i take adjacents of 5 6 7 and 4 for all the values the visited value is 1 and no need to add in the queue and next one is 4 for that also you need to do the same now if you see if q is empty yes q is empty every element vertex is deleted so then you need to return so that is the thing here happens in breadth first search so this is a procedure quickly if you review breadth first starts from one vertex and it initially visits all the adjacent vertices then select the one of the visited vertices and again checking for the same thing it proceeds until all the vertices are visited and there should not be any cycle in the resultant tree so this is about breadth first search travels thank you